Hello and welcome. Today I'll be unboxing, swatching, and giving my overall first impression of my recent purchase from Pleasing. So if you've never heard about Pleasing before, it's a beauty brand that was founded by Harry Styles and they have everything from skincare to nail care to all kinds of merch, fragrances are coming soon I believe. And I've always just been very interested in the bottles. They have these little marble tops that are super unique and I just had to try it. So this is my first purchase and I got five nail polishes in total. So I got this blue shade which is called Harry Mermaid and it's from their new Fancy Friends collection. And then I also got a Picks and Mix. Pick and Mix. <laughs> which is a box of four nail polishes that you get to pick four. So here you can see me trying to pop off the marble top. You are able to pop off the round marble top and just use the inner brush part, which is just like a cylindrical flat shape. But I think it's easier to use it all together and um, overall just the inner part screws off while the marble part pops off. And so far, I'm really liking the packaging too. I feel like all of the artwork on the boxes is really cute and unique, and it definitely stands apart from others. So here on top, I have what I believe are three new fragrances that are gonna be released soon little samples and they all smell pretty good actually so I opened them up later and I smelled them but there's a little description for you know the feel each one is supposed to give and here are the other colors I chose so this is inky pearl which is black with like a little bit of blue shimmer and as you can see there are more goodies under there which I will show in a second the next color is the whole Duniverse which is a clear base and there's little flakies inside. The next one is Tender Bud, which is a beige nude shade. And last we have Borgogna Acai. And this one is a burgundy cream. Okay, so back here we had a few more goodies. I wasn't expecting it to come with that, but I did see the pick and mix. It does say it's gonna come with more trappings from previous collections. And then I also like in here, it talks about their cycle materials and their commitment to sustainability. It came with a sticker and some nail decals and nail wraps and i really like the nail wraps i think they're going to be perfect for the holidays because it has a little pleasing logo and i feel like that gives me like mint vibes like little mint candy so i think those are super cute oh so pricing so harry mermaid on its own from fancy friends was twenty dollars the blue one was twenty dollars but the pick and mix box is 65 for four and it comes with the decals so you get a little bit better of a deal that way all right, and here we are to the swatching portion. So five fingers and five colors. I arranged them this way because I thought this would be a good way to see them all together. I already have my nails prepped here with OPI's Nail Envy. I think it's been doing a really good job at keeping my nail length that's a little bit thicker, so that's my prep. We're gonna start off with Harry Mermaid. So Harry Mermaid is described as an electric blue with an opaque glossy finish. And I start off by doing super thin coats. This is a nail polish, so it's on the thinner side. And I'm learning as I go. This is my first time using this polish, but I think I apply it a little bit too thin and it dries too fast to be this thin and it ends up a little bit patchy. From here on out, I'm gonna do thicker layers of polish. And next up we have Borgogna Acai, and that's described as a glossy burgundy creme polish. the formula on this one I feel like I might not even need a second coat which I still will do one but it's looking great even with just one coat 
So next up, I have the whole Duniverse, which is described as a sheer holographic bio glitter formula. And this one's a little bit more sheer than I was expecting. I think I'm gonna have to do multiple layers for the flakes to really show up. But as you move your fingers, you definitely can see the little glitter shards kind of catch the light. Next up is Tender Bud, which is described as a mushroom beige opaque gloss formula. So fun fact about me is I love neutrals. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity to add another neutral to my collection because I believe that you can never have enough of them. So I really like this one. No such thing as too many nudes. Okay, back to business. Next is Inky Pearl, which is described as a pearlescent black with a deep blue radiance and glossy finish. So I'm noticing this formula is definitely thin and it is a little bit runny, so you have to be careful with the darker colors like Inky Black. Alright, starting on all of the second coats. So another thing I'm noticing is this polish does dry pretty quickly as well. So you can't overwork it, you kind of just have to like go with the flow. And I can confirm I did use this polish again the next day. Um, I got a better handle on the formula and I did need three coats of this particular color, Harry Mermaid, to get it to the opacity that I really wanted it. And when it does get to three coats, it looks beautiful. It does match the color in the bottle perfectly as you can see. And I really love this shade of blue. Doing a second coat of Borgonia Acai. Also, sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Just doing a second coat. Doesn't really need it, but you know, just for good measure and to give you a good idea of the formula. I definitely think that this is my favorite of all of the formulas and possibly my favorite of all of the shades as well. As much as I like the blue, this one is really perfect for the upcoming holidays, upcoming seasons, and I guess I'm just in a winter mood, so loving this one. It does dry a teeny a bit darker than it looks in the bottle, but still very beautiful. The whole Duniverse has very pretty, subtle flakies. I'm very interested to see what this one will look like over other colors, but just on the natural nail, it's very subtle. see with tender bud um, as I mentioned it is very thin formula and I have a pretty distinct ridges on my natural nails and I did put on um, OPI nail envy but there are still distinct ridges on my nails so it doesn't cover that and I think I would need three coats of this shade as well to get it to the full thickness and opacity that I would typically hope for in a nail polish inky pearl is mostly looking black to me um, i feel like on the nail the blue shimmer doesn't show up as much as it looks like it would in the bottle but this is just over artificial light and i am very curious how it would look in the natural light so i'll have to test that another time so overall i feel like 
the polishes are a little pricey considering that two of the shades i picked would need about three coats for full opacity i feel like you could probably find the colors or similar color like a dupe for cheaper maybe with a little bit better of a formula but i think we can agree that you won't find a prettier bottle out there so if you're a fan of harry styles and you like bottles to leave out on your desk that are pretty to look at i think you could definitely justify trying them i'm glad i tried them and i've satisfied my curiosity Thanks for watching.